Hello guys, welcome to Lambda Solutions. Today on your trigonometry, we are looking at general solutions. So we are going to determine the general solution of 8 cos squared x minus 2 cos x minus 1. Okay, minus 1. So without any waste of time, this looks like it can be factorized. So yes, it can. It will be 4 cos x minus 1 multiplied by 2 cos x minus 1 is equal to 0. However, it seems this part here must be positive. All right? Cool. So we will have cos x equals negative 1 over 4 or cos x equals positive half. Okay, so I will begin with this part of cos x equals negative 1 over 4. First thing first, the reference angle of this will be cos inverse of positive 1 over 4. Remember, always um, put a positive here. Even though the number could be negative, do not write it as a negative because you're finding a reference angle which is somehow in the first quadrant so it will be some acute angle okay so what is it your reference angle will be let's see it's cost 0 0.25 i'm using case your fx 991 so it will be shift cos and then 0 0.25 so our reference angle is 75 Point five two degrees. Okay, it's seventy five point five two degrees. Now, as you can see, cos x is negative. Where is cosine negative? It is negative in the second quadrant. Right. Remember from from your cast diagram. Um, I don't know. I did this from your cast diagram. Right from your cast diagram, you say all students take coffee. Okay, so in the second quadrant, so in the second quadrant, this is where you say x equals 180 degrees minus your reference angle. What is your reference angle? It was 75.32 degrees plus 360 degrees k, where k is an element of an integer. Okay, perfect. Now, further, we say x equals um, 104,68. Huh? Is it 32? No, it wasn't 75,32, right? It was 75,52. It was 75,52. Yes, it was 75,52. It has 75,52. So this will be 104 minus 48. Yeah, 104,48, sorry. 104,48 degrees plus 360 degrees K. Now, again, where is cosine negative? Remember, we said cos X is negative 104, meaning where is cosine negative? Cosine is also negative in the third quadrant. So we go into the third quadrant, right? For the third quadrant, its reduction formula is 180 plus your reference angle. What was your reference angle? 75,52 degrees plus 360 degrees K, where K is an element of N integer. Therefore, X is um, 2... 55,52 plus 360 degrees K. Okay, so this is for when cos is negative 0. Point, um, let me underline this. This is when cosine is equal to negative 1 over 4, which is negative 0. 0.25. Now we have to now solve when it's half okay so for cos 
x equals half okay first thing first the reference angle will be cos inverse of half this will be 60 degrees all right this will be 60 degrees on your calculator shift or second function shift cos 0 0.5 or cos half you get 60 degrees all right as you can see cosine is positive where is cosine positive again let me draw that all students take coffee cosine is positive in the first quadrant so for the first for the first quad we will say x equals you take the reference angle as it is 60 degrees plus 360 degrees k where k is an element of an integer okay then we proceed to the second condition cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant okay in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant the reduction formula is 360 degrees minus 60 degrees of course plus 360 degrees k where k is an element of an integer therefore our answer is 300 degrees okay 300 degrees plus 360 degrees k and this is us finding the general solution for that equation so this is it guys and see you next time so bye bye